this identification and mitigation. What are the risks of the thing? Most of the things are known to you. I find that there are many senior people who must have spent a lot many years on transmission construction. They may be aware, but there are some juniors also. For them, this may be a um, epidemic for doing their more work. And those who are senior, this may be a movie seeing again. But uh, as a topic which is given to me, not knowing where the train is, I will try to touch upon various issues which are related to the project management. Are you able to listen to me? <coughs> Fine. As already told by Mr. K. Singh from Power Grid and uh, Sanjeev Singh also, that transmission line construction is different from any other construction which is localized. Substation, for example, land is required yeah, within the fenced premises. You can control the quantities, you can control the quality, correct? But here it is very difficult. And as a manager or an engineer in utility or a private company, you are given a job that okay, this transmission line will be under your control. Maybe you may be having some juniors with you. But that cross country line every day. Height and locations, foundation may be going on, another erection may be going on, some stringing work may be going on. It may be difficult for a single person to handle all this. Punch points. What are the things which are required to be looked into? I will give you here. It is a cross country, as I told you. Line traverses kilometers and kilometers. The construction management can be broadly divided into the following. Route alignment survey, procurement, storage of material, right of way, deployment of local labor and equipment. So, this particular thing, survey, profiling, foundation work, erection, of tower, stringing work, fire, everything, and testing and commissioning. These are the main activity. Another activity is procurement, storage of material. This is a part of the management. Maybe. As a construction engineer, you may not be required to look into. But supposing you are transferred to headquarter, then you may be looking to this also. Material accounting work, it is also done by engineers. Uh, payments, etc., also you have to certify. Organizing site visit of the supervising and approving authorities. Maybe in the if they are contractors, contracting firm, then power grid will come and inspect. If the contact inform is there, you are working as a manager, then MSME will come, GEV will come, JETCO will come, this all approving authority will come. So that is also to be organized. Correct? Lies with the statutory authorities, some airport authorities, PTCC, April of this, April of forest. Appointment of sub of subcontractors. If the work is very bad, you will subcontract it. Maybe you are yourself in the contractor, for example, you are working for a contractor, but still. You will give some work, acting work to somebody, some excursion work to somebody, local people. So that dewatering, you will say somebody come here and please, please dewater, I will pay you lump sum. <coughs> because you cannot have all the workforce with you all the time. Because it will leave permanent uh, burden on you. So you will always try to give some work individually to somebody and get it done faster. Because ultimately your aim is to complete the work in time. Pursue HR policies, labor laws and compliances as already told. Pursue corporate tax compliances. This is also very important. As an engineer, you cannot get rid of these two things. You must be knowing. If some labor welfare officer comes outside and show me your register, he should answer, I don't know. You must be aware that you have to maintain a register, whether that PF is deducted, whether it is paid. Whatever HR compliances are there, safety, safety fellow will come, he will say. So the norms of construction have changed drastically, as already told by Mr. K. Singh, power grid, and almost all the utilities have started adapting it. So you cannot have construction without safety norms. 
Biggest challenge is coordination of construction activities, ensure proper balance between event revenue and expenditure, client's requirement, statutory requirement, and HR requirement. I mean, this is in a nutshell. These all challenges are to be faced by the engineer in charge. <clears throat> in short, as an engineer, you are supposed to be a technocrat, number one. No dispute about it. But simultaneously, you should be also be aware of what are the other compliance is required, that is accounts, HR, etc. Activity of survey work, you know, root alignment, profiling, and estimation, check survey. So there are three, three activities, there are three types of survey, root alignment, profiling, and estimation, check survey. You all, know, all of you know that when you do root survey, you only mark angle points. And uh, fitting to angle points, you will always presume that there are suspension towers. So it shows you that line will go like this. Angle points are fixed. So between two angle points, you will get distance. Today, things are very easy. On Google, you get immediate distance because GPS is there. When we started working on transmission line, there was nothing. We used to borrow topo sheets, draw them, and then um, find out distances through other means by approximation. Uh, chain and tapes were taken. Chain, we are using chain, continuous chain, ingenious chain, and measure the distance. So that is the way. It was very laborious, but then time was also sufficient. One line used to take two years to complete. Survey itself used to take three months. But now this survey work is uh, root alignment of the 100 kilometer. It can be done within three days. As a consultant, we are doing a lot of survey work everywhere in the country. So, profiling and estimation, that is the second stage of survey, second survey. So, second survey, there you will go from the angle points which have been already marked and decided. <coughs> Nothing distinct is given. This angle point, this angle point, that angle point, that angle point. So, between those ang angle points, nothing listing is given to each angle point. So, you travel along that route in a straight manner and reach to the next destination. In between, you do profiling, that is ground level you will take. And you will use total station. Total station, most of you may be knowing. You know what, what is total station? Senior logo ko malu hoga. Aapko agar malu nahi hai, toh pata dena. Nahi malu hai. Total station is an electronic version of theodolite. Earlier there we used to use theodolite. In theodolite we used to have a mark scale to show the levels. So then go on taking level and in the print book you note. But now that is gone. Now. If total station, I position it here on trefoil. I put a prism there. And just press the once I Hello, mark the center in the this thing, I am able to uh, coincide my center point with the prism center point. Simply I have to press the button. Immediately I will get distance between this point and that point. If I take that prism further, then that distance will be given by this. I also will be able to give level. What is the level difference? It is a higher level, lower level. Level difference also it will show between two points. An angle, if I come from here, and it is at this level, it will show angles also. So all the three points, all the three parameters will be recorded for one prism moment, second prism moment. Go on like this. And uh, after work is over, at the end of the day, you come and connect it to the computer. It will generate with the help of software, then it's the profile. Ground profile. And then you put the tower and find out whether you are getting clearance or not. That is the survey part. I am not going to those details because topic is just a <clears throat> touch and go. So, and I will show you with the help of this thing. A check survey is a last survey which is to be done when you are doing foundation work. At the time also, total station will be placed and you will uh, first of all see that. Uh, temperate top is at the same level, stop top is at the same level, correct? And uh, the center pad, 
is exactly as per the uh, survey done earlier. So first of all, you will mark the center pack, mark all the four bits, and then total station will always be there till concrete work is over. And the thing you can see, this is a survey. I want to connect these two points. Actually, connecting these two points straight line is the best way, but straight line is not possible, correct? In life also, we don't travel on straight line. The transmission line is part of our line. So it takes turn because of the impediments. There are so many things, railway crossing, this, 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 everything is there. So that will make this line to traverse in a zigzag manner. So this is, and between these two points, I will do profiling work in the next slide I will show you. This is a real route survey done. These are all angle points. This is in Chhattisgarh. Coal mines, you have to avoid coal, coal mines. You have to avoid uh, some reservoirs, this, that, and across the existing transmission line. In Chhattisgarh, there are large number of transmission lines. It is almost jamela, what we call in Hindi, or transmission line. So you have to cross. In one section, we have to cross five transmission lines in a row. Then there was no other alternative. So I could not put uh, towers in between the lines. There was no space. So I had to cross underpass. So there we put the gantries, designed the gantries, and took it on the five lines in one section. So that is the way we do. This is the real uh, profile which is done. That is the uh, route alignment. How does the route alignment survey is able to broadly estimate the quantity of work involved? Once you do route alignment, you get some uh, crude idea, basic idea as to how many angle points will be there, how many suspension towers will be there, what, what are likely to be the extensions. You have not done the profiling work yet, but still you are able to estimate the quantity and you can start ordering tower views that, okay, this is very clear, this is very clear. You can start ordering, means do tender work and start placing the order. In the meanwhile, you will do second survey, which will give you exact quantity of towers extensions required. 